All right, there are a lot, and I mean a lot of loose ends here. Myself, Jack, is looking for some random ninja from Wano. Sanji and Caesar are still missing. And actually, no, that, that kind of that kind of clears a lot of it up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus, and today we continue Zo. Very excited to get into it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a sub, drop a like on this one, and let's get started. Not gonna lie, Zo ranking pretty high in One Piece Islands I'd live on, especially if the animals are all chill vibers. Sorry, I said that. So they can explain why Nami and Wanda switched clothes, or am I just to assume that they just did it for funsies? Also, if I lose this fight to this cat, man, I'm never gonna recover. Socially, financially, anything. Come on, Jack. I, can, I feel conflicted rooting for him. He is a dick. I'm kind of doing it. No one's ever done it. I bet the dog could. Okay, Jack should stay in his human form. He looks way more bad at... Dog! You're getting thrown around by, by a cat like an eighth your size, man. Jack Perot got that One Piece build, though. Got them tiny legs. Oh my gosh, man. This cat is so fast. You know, they said the cat and the dog are even. The more I see, this cat seems... I guess he's quicker. May not be as strong. This fight go crazy, though. Dude, Jack's getting bodied. But I guess... He ended up winning though, right? From what we know, he kind of rolled the island. Ooh, the standoff. I wonder what happened to his jaw. He looks so crazed, man. This cat is a lot more egotistical than the dog though, I will say. The dog is more refined. Oh, they fought all night. They have to, right? Oh man. How does Jack have that much, like, stamina? And the dog is, like, refreshed. Jack. It is weird how they all have, like, kind of Zoan. Zo they're all kind of Zoans. Just in body parts, not their entire being. I don't know if that's an advantage or disadvantage or why it's like that just for them. And the, the electricity for this kingdom still has not been explained. It's very busted, though. Dog. Literally, dog. <laughs> God, dude. I love the design of Jack so much. And it, that's not actually bias. He just looks like a beast. Although we could, we could fix the bowl cut up there, up top. Three days, four days, bro, no shot. The more impressive part is that Jack keeps fighting. It's like the cat and dog are swapping off. Also, he just kept calling in more and more people, steadily overwhelming the enemy until only one we couldn't bring down. Yeah, Jack. Bro, just stayed standing, baby. Let's go. I'm so sorry I'm a monster. It's not even that he's like powerful. He just has a lot of endurance. He's like Omega tank. Mm -hmm. There's two other Kaido subordinates too. Brought out a weapon. Oh, what weapon? Bro! Bro! No! The Geneva Convention, Jack! Come on, man! Oh, Caesar's poison gas weapon. Oh, the same kind. Uh, that makes sense that it would make it to Kaido, though. They were already in dealings. So where the hell are Caesar and freaking Sanji, man? Dang, that's shameless, though. Poison gas. How did they not die? And they just won instantly. Well, I guess Jack just won instantly. It wasn't poison, it was just paralysis. Oh my gosh. Oh, they actually have like suits. Oh, those look like the Punk Hazard suits. Dude, the, uh, they genuinely said they, that he's not there. I'm more uh, I, like confused by them trying to find this one ninja than where Sanji and, and Caesar are. Like, why is he so hellbent on this one guy? You can't heal this, Chopper. Okay, dude, dude, the licking. I, it takes me out. I'm barely gonna make it. 
Oh, that's who they strung up. Dang, dude. Cat and dog together. And then the musketeers. Oh, and I bet this is where freaking uh, Sanji, Nami, and all of them came swinging in to save them. And that's why all of the, the freaking minks love them now. Shackers are relentless, bro. Tortured, they still said they had no idea. And also, what reasoning would they have to hide this random ninja? Right? It's not worth losing these people and being tortured. My cat grudge. I wonder if the cat and the dog got closer, though, through this tragic event. They were side by side for it. Oh. Satisfied with the dish. Oh, wait. He just dipped before Sanji and them even got here. Oh. Interesting. So why was there an obituary for Jack in the newspaper? They did drop that line earlier. It kind of confused me though. I like the placement of it. So then Jack dipped and went to try to get Do Doflamingo off the ship. Oh, uh, the prison ship that he was on. Probably not remember the beast Jack died. Jack dies. Is he dead? And it happened whenever he tried to... Wait, am I dead? Yeah, go save Doflamingo. Because of his dealings with Kaido. Am I dead? I'm confused by so many things now. So then the straw hats came and booted out the, the other, like the subordinates of Jack. Oh, wait, more backstory, more lore. This is when they got to Zo. This is what I've been waiting for. Their POV. I was starting to forget what Sanji and Caesar looks like. <laughs> And I guess Momo, they said, is just in some random room. Dude, the Sanji fit goes crazy. Oh my gosh. And they went right up. How did they get up? Oh my gosh, genius. Buttholes. Dude, yeah, this Sanji fit goes wild. It was sicko mode. I like Caesar just walking with him. <laughs> I like when he turns into a little dragon. <laughs> Chopper keeps Caesar in line. His little football helmet, bro. So this is where... Wait, now we're caught up, no? Well, kind of. We still don't know where Caesar and, and, and Sanji are, but this is where we cut in. Whenever they started clashing with Jack's subordinates, it makes way more sense now why those three were separated from... Okay, okay. Starting to make sense. A tiny bit. Is that part of the Minx tribe? I don't even think we've even seen this one. Ah, he looks like a villain. <laughs> oh, wait. And they said something about like them taking a girl. Ah, it's clicking. This is this Mink was the girl they were talking about. The Brook actually like, oh, well, they kind of clashed, but not here. It was where there was like water. Sheep's head. I keep forgetting his name. Sheep's head. Makes sense. Because he's like part sheep. It's almost like two on the nose for me to remember. Is this Soul Parade? Like the... the yeah, dude. The, the, like... What's it called? Uh, it's like a... Oh, wait. No. I thought it was like a different dimension. No, he just puts ice down. And then they dipped. Okay. <laughs> what are these names from Momo? Oh, she's a squirrel. And now we're caught up. Except for what happened afterward. Again, Caesar and Sanji are. Okay. Okay, the pieces are the pieces of the puzzle are connecting. When they chased them and they rolled sheep's head. Carry on. So the the smoke like lingered at least a bit. Oh yeah, it did. And Caesar's fine. He's like, ah, yes, my creation. Caesar could definitely just book it right now, by the way. But he doesn't have any sea prism cuffs, does he? Yeah, he doesn't. Also, the Caesar fit kind of goes crazy, too. Sorry, I was just about to say. Pedro. Oh, wait, Pedro is one of the guardians, right? So they saved Duke and Viper. Because uh, they were just going to slowly die strung up. Dang, yeah, no, no, they for real with the straw hats. They cut his leg off? Is that what that is? Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize that. He's been in bed, no? Damn. 
And then took an arm? Damn! Oh my gosh! That's brutal! Now I see why they've kind of kept Cat Viper in the darkness and kept Duke Dogstorm in bed. They took a leg and an arm and a leg. That is insane. That was what like sated Jack's hunger and then he dipped when he realized he wasn't getting anywhere. Oh my gosh. 761, let's go. Yeah, now I'm now I'm focusing more. I can see he's in bed and it hasn't really shown anything. Uh, I see. 10 days ago. Okay, it's been over a week. This may sound stupid, but like, couldn't like the water wash away? Cause it's like such, no, cause I guess it's not high up. Oh my gosh, why does he look like that? He's just so proud of himself. Koro. Stop Caesar! Bro, <laughs> the chopper just headbutting him. Cause you made it! You made it! In before Caesar, like good guy arc? No, that's genuinely impossible. Doflamingo gonna turn a new leaf before Caesar. Look at his face, man. 48 hours. He can't get over how, how happy he is. Oh my gosh, he's reduced him to his gaseous form. Oh, so he's saying like the Ming, the Ming tribe were hmm, the aggressive ones, the aggressors. I told it. Oh, that's why he obeys. They have his heart out. That's right. That's right. No, that makes sense. I forgot. It's been so long, man. You gotta forgive me. Okay, now we might get to where Caesar and Sanji are. Because we did not see this side of things. Although they haven't fought Sheep's Head yet. So we still have more to go. <laughs> kind of deserve it, Caesar. Tom Chopper. Dude, Chopper is taking damn charge. He said, I'll kill your ass if you don't help them right now. <laughs> He's standing on him. And then this is where, yeah, the, the flood. It's almost like Caesar knew the flow was coming. <laughs> Chopper sounds so sad whenever he's, he's struggling like that. <laughs> Didn't even just grab him out of the water. Yeah, Caesar also can't weigh that much. He's like mostly gas, I think. You devil. Okay, Caesar, says you. a boy, Chopper. You stand guard over him. And here we are. Yep, we saw part of this. Yep. Yeah, that move from Brooke, like that shot of him holding him was badass. God, dude, Sanji's gotten just so strong, man. I mean, just being able to fly, like power spiked him by like triple, actually. They still hadn't found the samurai. Not here. So they just gave up. I mean, even I believe that he's not here. Oh, she's the nurse. The squirrel was the nurse. Oh, I see. Well, that makes sense. And Caesar actually got rid of the poison gas. Wow. I mean, he's being forced to do it, but still Caesar good guy arc. I don't know. He's already killed like way too many for like redemption. This is against my will. I still love his design. So the poison gas would have dispersed. It just wouldn't have been in time. I had a boy, Caesar. Even though it took his life being threatened, he still, he still saved him. This may be some of like the entire crew's best fits. Now I'm thinking about like Chopper's football helmet, Sanji's just everything, Brooke, Nami, like they're all killing it, man. And we haven't gotten what Wanda has said about the ninja being here. I think they don't even think that he's here, right? Like that's their that's their take on it, right? Even not in front of Jack. The gas idiot. Oh, oh, and there's Wanda. Oh, come, come. Is how they met. She's weakened. Oh my God, bro. What is Wanda gonna like try to sacrifice herself? What is this play? Oh my. I guess if it means taking down one of them. And they've been fighting for like a week straight. <laughs> Nami just lets it explode. Ah, the squirrel told her. Somebody put out the damn firecracker dynamite, man. I was like, hey, before it still explodes. <laughs> it took Pedro doing it? Nami was for a while about to let that explode. Where are the straw hats? Oh, the Chopper bringing all the medicine. I think, did he just find those? Caesar's even carrying antidotes. Aw. 
Oh, okay, they're gonna make it, I see. Dang, bro. No wonder the Ming tribe worships them. That's my goat doctor right there. Dude, Chopper is kind of carrying Enzo. I'm not gonna lie. I'm so sorry I hurt them. <laughs> so where are Sanji and Caesar? Nothing is cleared up. It should be fine from there. Nothing else happened. Jack's gone. And they rolled the subordinates. Look at him get to freaking work. It's, dude, Caesar's like his like twisted assistant, bro. It's sad because like we barely even saw this place. It just got bodied so fast. Probably one of the nicest islands. There's a lot of inherent security to the island too, being so high up. Like it would take a crew as skilled as Jax to be able to get there and raid it. Especially against such strong fighters like the Ming tribe. She's like patting Chopper. Dude, Caesar's like excited about making an antidote. Wait, maybe I was wrong. Caesar Redemption Arc is here, baby. Probably should still be uh, uh, behind bars for life, though. Not gonna lie. He's uh, he's committed an atrocious number of war crimes. Killed hundreds, I'm pretty sure. He experimented on children. Was Brooke sweating? Is that possible? Beppo! Dude, the, the leg and the arm being gone from the t the dog and the cat are so crazy twist. Like I said, though, maybe like such a horrible, tragic event will like bring the kingdom more together. The night and day. They said, didn't they say the cat and the dog used to be friends? Oh my gosh, we're already getting the Zo banquet. Incredible. I like how they each have like their individual jobs to like rebuild this kingdom. Sanji's making food, Brooks playing music. Nami just exists. <laughs> they for real came in and swept this place up, didn't they? And they did help still. Mm hmm. That's their way, baby. And now we're here. Now, where is Sanji and Caesar, bro? I'm sick of asking. Stop looking, Nami. Here's the thing that was happening here while we were fighting Doflamingo and Dressrosa. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry, Luffy. I'm sorry. Yeah, am I actually dead? Is that, is that really it, man? Oh, my God, bro. I better be. I think because they're they're contemplating it, he's gotta be. Go examine Cat Viper. I like how they're just not concerned though about Sanji. Like they haven't said anything. Like we told the entire story, and now we're just like this. King's bird. The only office goes back and forth. She's like a messenger. I'm surprised the cat is fine with a messenger that is a dog. Oh, I got to go meet the cat. So does the cat have like a house in the trees? Like as nice as this? Because he lives in the forest. Mm -hmm. He'll put his ego aside to thank them. And not a single dude. I'm, I'm sick of asking, man. Where the hell is Sanji? I wouldn't even ask about Caesar anymore. I'll take anything. I'll take scraps, man. They're just treading me along like it's nothing. Ah! But now we have the full story. There is no more to tell. We finished up in these two. Everything that happened with Jack here. We have the full picture aside from Sanji and Caesar. And now it's time to look to the future and forward. And what do we do from here? But first, we had to find out, A... Is that ninja from Wano here? And B, where Sanji is? Because that's sort of the next steps if we have to find him. But I'm assuming he's still on the island somewhere. Just it's going to be more of a problem or it's like one of Jack's subordinates. I don't know. It just seemed like something it would that would be more dire, right? I guess we also still have the loose end of, of Kinemon and Kanjiro climbing up to Zo, And they could provide more insight. And also the reunion of Kinemon and Momo, which will be nice. But they will also provide insight on this ninja and why Jack 
may have possibly been after him because to wreak this much havoc going after one person, either that one person really did you wrong or they're very important. One of the two, or maybe both at the same time. I don't know. But regardless, how did Jack even find out that he was here? There's just so many, so many questions. I love it, man. I, I love all these loose ends and the mystery of Jack even being alive anymore. But guys, that's been it for my reaction today. I hope you enjoyed. Drop a like on this one and I'll catch you next time. Peace, peace.